Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Well, folks, I've got a problem with citrus scale. Right here, I have a key lime tree. And this is a key lime tree that I've been really looking forward to getting some limes off of. And I came out the other day and found some black leaves and I found a lot of these uh, little scale boogers on here. I thought they were aphids at first. And uh, scale bugs and aphids are very similar. What happens is they infest your plant and they're sucking bugs. They suck the sap out of the, out of the tree limbs here. And they colonize this tree. And uh, as they suck that sap out, they, um, they exude this stuff that's uh, real sweet. It's called honeydew. And because it's real sweet, well, the ants come up and start to harvest that. And so the ants literally farm and work these bugs. And uh, so it's like a symbiotic relationship. But it's not good for the tree. Uh, these bugs are a vector for disease. And uh, yeah, I don't like them. So we got to deal with these bugs today. All right. What you can see here is called citrus scale. These are aphid-like creatures. And they put out... A substance called honeydew as they suck on the sap of my lime tree here. And you can see I've got several infestations of them. I'm not sure that you can see but the ants are working these citrus scale creatures because that honeydew they put out, that uh, sweet stuff, uh, is uh, attractive to the ants. And the ants come up and farm that and actually protect these creatures. But these are harming my, my limes here. Here's some more up here. So what we have to do is deal with this. Yeah, that's not a good situation. So what we're going to have to do is uh, treat these with neem oil. Let me show you the secondary problem. Right here you can see on these leaves how it gets black. I've already taken off one, blant, uh, one branch that was totally black. That is sooty, mold, sooty mildew. And when the sweet stuff ex ex expelled by those bugs gets down on the leaves it forms an environment ripe for that uh, sooty mildew to grow and that's not good you can see I've got some here you can see that gigantic colony of these bugs yeah they're not aphids they're actually citrus scale and you can see how bad it can get if you let it go all this mildew here and all that just zapping the life out of this lime tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this with some neem oil and see if we can't get rid of these scale bugs. You see all the damage they've done to this branch. Looks gnarly, doesn't it? Yeah, that branch is going to have to come off. One way you can deal with aphids is just hose them off. Once they hit the ground, well, they die. Uh, but these are not aphids. These are scale bugs, and they're on there pretty good. Now you can come in and and kind of wipe them off with your finger but even then they're like little armored uh, domes on there so we're gonna have to spray this with neem oil I'm gonna start with neem oil and I'm gonna see if that works so today I'm gonna show you how to mix up and use neem oil in the garden to deal with uh, these kind of pests so what we're gonna do today is make us up a cocktail of neem oil and we're gonna spray these scales and what that will do is uh, help to suffocate them it will coat them with an oil, and neem oil also has the properties that it's toxic to most insects if they ingest it. You could just use soap. I've got here an ounce of soap, uh, dish soap, and I'm going to add that to one gallon of water. And then I'm going to add an ounce of neem oil, maybe a little bit more. And what the soap does acts as an emulsifier. It helps the neem oil to break up and suspend in the water. And then we're going to spray that on our plant. Now, you shouldn't spray neem oil in the sun. And... The reason that I understand is that unlike water, when you spray water in the sun and the, the water beads up on, on your plant, they say, oh, the sun can burn your plant. That's a myth. Water does not have the lenticular properties uh, to actually burn in most cases. Um, but oil sometimes can. If it beads up on there, then uh, that's what they say it can. I'm skeptical, but just to be safe, I've, I've moved my tree over into a shady spot. Okay, in my sprayer here, I have one gallon of water, and I'm going to add the soap to that. You want to add the soap after you've added the water, because if you put the soap in there and start putting water in, it's going to foam up, and that's not really what we want. So that's one ounce of dish detergent. Now, you could use this and just spray them uh, with this, but 
I gotta have some neem oil. This is cold pressed neem oil. Let's shake it up first. You wanna get the cold pressed, not the, uh, there's, a, there's another process by which they extract neem oil, and I think it's called the hydraulic or, I don't know, it's hydro something. So we'll just pour a little neem oil just like that, drop it in, and I'm gonna give it at one and a half ounces. There we go. That's all you need. Now, what you want to do is shake this up pretty good to get that oil suspended in the water. You know, oil and water don't mix. And that soap will help emulsify this oil in here and suspend it in the solution. Periodically, as you spray, you want to come in and do this as you go. All right. So I pumped it up, and I'm just going to hit these guys all over. I'm going to spray down this entire tree, but especially where I see these scales, I'm going to spray them really well. I'm also going to spray my leaves that have this mold on them. This neem oil will help to deal with that mold as well by suffocating it, coating it with oil. Let's see if I can get a better spray out of this. There's a little bit better. Again, keep it shaken up. I'm just going to coat this entire tree with this neem oil from all sides. And this will help to deal with these scale bugs. That's the hope anyway. I don't like this infestation. Now my wife, my wife claiming to be sort of a prophetess because after we had our epic freeze and we've had so many problems come around in the garden she said what could be next and well she predicted it would be pestilence and uh, we've had all kinds of pestilence this year in the garden so uh, yeah I'm gonna ask my wife before I do anything in the garden from now on obviously I'm just kidding but it gives us a good laugh. All right, well that ought to do. I'll leave my neem oil here in the shade. You really should, you really should use this stuff up in one go. Because neem oil doesn't keep that well, it uh, breaks down rather quickly. So I have other places in the garden to use neem oil, but that's outside of the scope of this video. All right, we'll let this sit here and come back later, see what it looks like. Well, there's a little taste of the garden here man that lime bush is slap full of those bugs and hopefully that neem oil will help to knock them back a bit and deal with them hopefully it'll kill them i'll come back in a few days and take a look and put another application of that neem oil on so there's a little bit of a short video on how to use neem oil to control uh, scale bugs same goes with aphids and i uh, hope that was helpful for you man it's hot i'm going inside thanks for joining me on black gumbo southern gardening i hope you have happy gardening Please follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we invite you to do so. We publish at least two gardening videos a week, and hopefully uh, you can join us. Take care. Happy gardening. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>